KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, as we head into the weekend, plenty of clouds, few showers on the radar right now, a few more on the way tomorrow, but the weekend's not going to be a washout. Don't cancel any outdoor plans tomorrow and by Sunday, the sun will be back and it will be continued warm. Not much of a front with this front. So let's take a look at the big picture and see what's going on. First off at the Crawfish uh, Festival out in Bro Bridge and a little sunshine late this afternoon. That's bringing our temperatures up into the mid 80s. Pretty good looking crowd for six o'clock in the evening. You see the clouds out in the background and too bad we had a wasp here that was visiting the camera from time to time. Not here right now, but I was ready to do battle with them just in case. And you can see everybody getting ready for the big stage action later on this evening. So if you get some time, you got today, you got tomorrow, even with a few showers, it won't be bad and a little bit cooler tomorrow and lots of sunshine to finish off the Crawfish Festival. Looks pretty good for Jazz Fest as well. We'll talk more about that too. So big picture as we look at what's happening upper level wise, we have an upper level low that's guiding the front here, but that low is mainly going to scoot off to the north and east with a trailing. We can't even and call it a cool front. We'll call it a lower dew point front. Meanwhile, another upper low up here by Western New York, uh, sparking off a moderate risk of severe weather. And the one kicker that we also notice is this upper level low that's down here by the Bahamas. It's drifting westward and we'll keep South Florida wet, the Bahamas wet, but we're not expecting any tropical development. But Maybe in a month or two, those are the things we might say down the road, but not concerned with that right now. Meanwhile, we can see our frontal boundary, that threat of severe weather in the northeast with severe thunderstorm watches and tornado watches. Locally, no severe weather here, but some scattered showers and rumbles of thunder. More thunder down toward the lower Rio Grande, and we did have more uh, cloud to ground lightning and heavier showers and storms in the northern part of the state, but uh, that activity weakening right now. Bulk of it just north and west of Alexandria up toward the Monroe area by Grambling, Ruston, and then back through Shreveport and then farther to the south. A couple of nice looking cells showing up. Just rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder overall as we get into Ver uh, Vernon Parish and then farther to the west. Scattered activity Houston on over toward uh, the Beaumont area. So if you're traveling westward going to Houston this weekend, uh, you might run into some showers this evening. Meanwhile, locally, a couple of isolated showers popping up. Vermilion into uh, St. Martin and uh, Iberia Parish. Uh, most of the activity locally south of Kaplan along Highway 35. We did have a nice shower last hour over by Abbeville, but that's moved off to the east. A little bit of a shower by Delcom Lake Pinure. A nice little shower showing up here uh, by the Milton area, just south and east of the Milton area by Sharon and southwest of Cap Capitan. And then we have some activity over by the Burke area and also by New Iberia by Acadiana Regional Airport. So we did see that 10% chance pop up late this afternoon. Tomorrow, 40 to 50 percent. 84 degrees right now. Actually, a northwest wind, so it's going to be very hard to find the front tomorrow. Temperatures for the most part after starting out in the mid to upper 60s, mid 80s this afternoon, but cooler where the showers have been most prevalent. Here comes that front first thing tomorrow morning. Showers and storms most prevalent in the central northern part of the state, scattered locally, so most of us may not see a whole lot of rain. And then over toward eastern Louisiana late tomorrow afternoon. After that, smooth sailing with skies clearing out, lots of sunshine and temperatures by lunchtime Sunday. Back at 80 will top out in the mid 80s for Sunday afternoon. Rainfall scant to none, uh, maybe a tenth of an inch of rain or less. Lucky few may catch a half inch or more, but I don't see much precipitation in the mix uh, for us beyond tomorrow in the 10 day forecast. So near 70 the low tonight, upper 70s to near 80 for a high tomorrow, and then a little bit warmer with the sunshine returning on Sunday, but lower humidity. 69 the low tonight. Rain chance 30% toward tomorrow morning, especially northern and western portions of the area. 50% may be generous for rain chances tomorrow, but we'll say scattered showers, perhaps a few storms. Prime time mid morning through the mid afternoon hours. We'll go upper 70s to near 80, back into the mid 80s Sunday. And look at those temperatures going into next week. Consistently warm. We're not going to say quite hot. We'll reserve that for 90 degrees, but some folks may see 90 degrees. These are the numbers for Lafayette, mind you. We might see a few 90 degree readings in northern portions of Acadiana come next week or next weekend or the four to five months that will follow. Yeah. As we for said sure, early. yeah, we can right. guarantee that, right. I think. Thanks, Rob. So